So here is how I've made over $50,000 a month, literally passively. My name is Scott Gleasonkamp, and my businesses are doing over $50,000 a month at the age of 19. Is it possible to do business completely passively? No. I'm not a scammer. I'm not someone lying to you. It's absolutely impossible to have passive income. Um, But it is very, very possible to have a very little time effort into, uh, you know, money output income. That's very, very possible. And that's one of the incomes I have. Uh, My main income is Amazon private label. And all that is, it's owning our own brands on Amazon. So I basically find brands or products that are already selling well on Amazon and I use them as inspiration. I go find manufacturers, usually in China, who can create very, very similar products, but I'm just going to add value. I'm going to make it a little bit better. And people are going to buy from me because I'm better. I'm more appealing. I'm sexier. And when I say that, it's my product. The manufacturer will ship all of our products directly to the Amazon warehouses in America, and we don't actually have to touch our inventory ever. And then Amazon handles the rest for a small fee. That's literally the business model in a very, very uh, small nutshell. But what's the key to this business? Um, the key to this business is simply providing value. That's the key to business in general, provide value. Uh, but this especially, you have to be able to differentiate one, so be different than the competitors, be different than everybody else selling the same thing. You also must be be able to be better, you know, be better, provide value. And that's all it takes. It's not hard to do either of those guys. You can be literally like 5% better and you can just be a little different. And then you're completely different product and you can stand out and people will buy yours just because of how much money's actually circulating on Amazon daily, like hundreds of millions of dollars. Is this business model like truly passive? No, it's not at all. Um, it's very, very low time, com- time commitment. And like, if you say something's passive income, like people say real estate's passive income, absolutely not. Uh, people say, you know, drop shipping, you know, passive income. No, this is probably closest to passive income as it gets. I'll tell you about the workload. The workload is probably for me right now on my best store, my best company, I'll say maximum, like an hour a week, maximum an hour a week. And that's pretty much just managing my ads and managing my inventory. And I don't even have to have my inventory. I don't have inventory, right? I, it's just all at Amazon's warehouse. So I just have to check up on it. Just, okay, do I have to order more soon? How's it running? Am I going to have to change the quantities I order? What's going on? Uh, just, just small things. And then I have to just check out my ads. But when you do this business model, um, you know, it doesn't only have to stay on Amazon. That's why I like it. Amazon's like a great validity test, right? So it makes it it's a good place to test your products and your brands if it's valid, if the market likes it. And if you do well on Amazon, you can take it on TikTok shop. You can have your own website. You can sell it to distributors. You can sell it to retailers. So many different things that you can do with this business and you can eventually sell it because it's a real product business. I'll tell you right now, those businesses who are like selling information or you know doing like SMMA or selling services, they, those have very, very hard times to sell just because they, they actually aren't worth much. But like physical product brands do carry pretty high multiples. But guys, like it, it wasn't easy to get here. I'm telling you right now, and I'm not bullshitting you one bit in this video. It wasn't easy. I had to work for a very, very long time. One thing I just had to do, and you'll have to do this as well if you want to start becoming successful, is you have to just stick with one thing and stick with it for years. You just have to pick one business model, stick with it, learn everything about it, obsess over it, get really, really good at it, and just be better. That's all it is, guys. There's no such thing as saturation. There's no such thing as anything like that in any business model. There's no such thing unless you're reselling. Reselling the exact same thing as everyone else is saturation because you can't differentiate. But if you own your own brand, there's no such thing as competition because you are the only you. So if you want to make money, you're just going to be better. You're going to be different and you're going to choose to make money. It's all up to your skills. It's all up to you. You might not want me to say this. The problem is not the business model. The problem is you, right? If you're not making money online, the problem Problem's not the business models you've been in. Maybe they don't work for you, but you haven't tried them long enough. Obviously, you know, you do want to be in the right business model that can take you really, really far. And the one I'm telling you about right now is probably one of the better ones to do that, in my opinion. I'm biased. But you know, you have to just stick with one thing and 
if you can see yourself sticking with Amazon private label, like I'm talking about right now forever or for a long time until you can, you know, have a lot of income to branch off and do other things. I think it's a good fit for you. It fits all of my check boxes. And I'll tell you like a little bit more about my story just so you can kind of understand me a little bit more. So I basically started out as a high school student, broke high school student. And I was just looking to make money. You know, I was a door dasher. So I, I delivered food. That was my, one of my first things. I also had a landscaping business, not, not a huge one, but like, just like, you know, I would do mulching. I would do beds. I would uh, mow grass. I would do a lot of that shit. It was pretty hard to be honest. And you know, I made decent money just because as a young man, it's probably one of the easier ways to make money just with your body, you know, just go labor for it. Uh, and that's what I did. And I definitely got humbled. And I realized in that job when I was mowing the grass every day and I was just doing a bunch of shit, I just really, really didn't like, I realized like, I can't do this forever. It's not scalable. How am I ever going to make a million bucks mowing grass? Like no one actually does that very, very few. So I had to like, kind of change the boat I was in and that is what got me interested in online business. And obviously online business was starting to become more popular as I was doing all this stuff in high school. Uh, the virus hit and, you know, I had more time to just kind of search the internet and scour and just see what I could come up with. And eventually I tried drop shipping. Obviously I think everyone's tried that. Um, it didn't personally work for me. I'm not saying it's a bad business model, um, but I just didn't stick with it long enough, right? And then I tried SOMA, right? SOMA, just honest, honestly, it's not my business model. You have to honestly kind of be keen to certain types of businesses. Like SOMA, you have to be very, very uh, social. You have to be very, very, you know, you have to do a lot of outreach. You have to be very, very good at sales. Um, that's one thing you have to be very, very good at. And I'm, I'm just not personally good at sales or anything like that. So I, I kind of picked a business model that I could be a little bit more low-key with. And eventually I did Amazon reselling. So Amazon reselling similar to private label in the sense that you're selling on Amazon. But basically what reselling is, I would, I would go to stores, I'd pick up shoes, I'd pick up clothes, I'd pick up Legos. I'd basically buy them low, sell them high. You know, I had to still package up all my inventory, send it to Amazon. I was making like five to 10% profit margins. I was doing a lot, a lot of hard work. I had to search every day for new product because, you know, I had to find new, new stuff to, to buy because everything would just go on sale. And then it'd get bought out and then I'd have to do it again. And it was just such a mess. And eventually, you know, after doing all this, I realized like, like I'm still an employee if I'm reselling guys, because these companies can cut me off whenever they want. And they did eventually cut me off. Um, you know, the, my margins are low and I'm still doing everything myself by hand. So I'm in, I'm an employee, just a little bit glorified. And honestly, I was making less money if I would have just had a job. So I decided I'm like, all right, I still want to own my business. I want to be a boss someday. I want to be able to leverage my time and leverage my abilities. So that's why I picked Amazon private label. Like I heard you could own your own brands on Amazon. I was like, what the fuck? Why have I not been doing this? Like why actually have I not been doing this? I was just, I was just uninformed. Okay. So I started it. I started my own brand and we did $20,000 our first month of selling. You know, obviously leading up to that, I had to go through a lot of shit. I had to learn a lot of shit, but we probably made like eight to 10 G's our first month profit. And that's when I saw, I was like, damn, okay, this is probably the better route. Not just because I made money fast and that definitely has something to do with it. I might've got a little lucky there, but you know, I just saw it better. Like I could own my own brand. I didn't have to touch my inventory. Like I had way higher profit margins. I eventually could like probably sell my business. So that, that, that was just like way better in my opinion. And I've stuck with it since guys, you know, I've been doing this for over close to three years now and it's really, really been rewarding. And this last year is just when it really started picking up for me because I learned, you know, I learned the information. I learned the skills. I learned the systems that I need to put in place and get really, really good. And now we're just planning on scaling way fucking further. You know, I, I've started to do pretty well with this business and you know, it, it literally does not take much of my time. Now we just focus on launching our new brands and uh, I do have something to offer you. It's, it's not going to cost anything, but we do have a free school community and what that is, it's like a free course, 10 plus hours, A to Z. Uh, and you can also d jump on our live calls we have every day and network with other people. That's in the first link down below. If you want to join it, go ahead. Uh, but we also are thinking about, you know, testing something, maybe doing a small group of students, uh, maybe like some private, private mentorship type thing. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to do it. Uh, but if you are interested or you possibly would find that, you know, intriguing to help you be accountable or, you know, just learn the things that not even a course can really teach you. Um, 
definitely definitely hit me up on instagram we might not do it we might do it uh, but just shoot me a dm on instagram it's the second link down below and we can uh see if we can some make something work the difference between winners and losers is simply taking action and if you do ever want to have a chance at making it big you do have to take action like today you can't be putting your actions off your decisions off uh, one thing i've learned is you have to take your actions very very seriously in how you do them and how quickly you make them speed solves everything you have to be impatient patient with your actions, but patient with the results. So you have to take those actions immediately every day with speed, with a very, very urgent matter. But you have to also be very, very patient with the results because they might not come immediately and they won't come immediately. So your best step today is to take action. But guys, my name is Scott Gleason Camp and I'll see you in the next video.